All right, mud lovers, how are you doing? Today we've got an extra special adventure. Tim. That's Tim. kindly invited me and Tim as well to come here and search the gardens of this 18th century pub. It used to be called, well, it was the Maiden's Head up until recently, and before that, in the early 18th century, it was the Queen's Head. So it's got so much history. Mm. So, Tim. As you, you were saying, there used to be meetings here of, of local, not just local councillors, but foresters, and they used to sell and obviously do a lot of cooking because we found some stuff already <laughs> just before we even detected. Um, including sheep's head and all that, but yeah, lo lots of history. We're going to get stuck in. Hope you enjoy. That's right, guys. So we've got detectors. We're doing a bit of eyes only. We're going to go back outside into the garden now. It's all been turned over because this place is going to be converted into a house. So uh, the developers are here. So I've only got a short amount of time to do it. Let's get some luck in the market. Do it. Bring on the ancient bottles, <laughs> ancient coins, a few silvers, and some gold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, no, no, let's go and find it. <laughs> Oh, I'm right. look at that. For eyes only. Oh, yeah. Lying there. That's great, yeah. Pick her up. It's a nice early one. Oh. oh, no way. No way. Seriously. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought this was only found in the Thames. <laughs> So I did some research on this pub and it was first registered in 1774 and called the Queen's Head. It was later renamed the Maiden's Head. I found records of public auctions taking place here, usually selling wood, and in 1890 the Ancient Order of Foresters had a meeting here. This friendly society formed in about 1790 and was a kind of insurance and saving club. You paid in and then you would get help if ever you needed it, helping people as they walk through the forest of life. They also do a lot of charitable work. Coincidentally, Nicola and I have both found clay pipes belonging to the foresters on the Thames foreshore, and they are still going strong today. So it wasn't just people enjoying a drink that visit these grounds, so we should be in for a very interesting day. So this is our playground for the day. We've got three, three or four levels of beautiful history that's been turned over. Anyone who doesn't find a coin has got to buy the drinks. Yeah. And the pub that's actually open, which is over the road. So there's so much to find. We're going to do a little bit of eyes only first to see what we can find just by using our eyes. Only. Only. Well, we'll just have a little look around now. We're in the, uh, in the grounds. And we're looking for any treasures like this. My old little bicycle lamp. Beautiful colour. That's really early. <laughs> that is. We'll, uh, we'll uh, try and uh, hunt out the, the richest spot and then dig it. <laughs> we can dig it up. Yeah, Aqua yeah. colour, so it's got a little bit of age to it. Oh, we're like kids in a candy shop, aren't we, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a pot there, Tim. And you left foot. That's a ginger beer bottle, isn't it? Spotted, or, yeah, or, or, or an inky. Oh, I'm right. look at that. For eyes only. I should do you. I should do a test. Right, okay, guys. Can you see? Can you do spot the find? Surface only find. Let's get a little bit closer for you. There we go. Look at that. A little marble. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Nice look at that one. one. Oh, Here you yes. go, Timo, you can have that one. <laughs> it's hot, man. Where's your finance pouch? You need to be yeah, a proper yeah, yeah. detective to the finance pouch. Yeah, I've, I've got one down now. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll get it. So that's, that's, a, that's probably a quite an early marble, I would have thought. I mean, maybe kids were up there playing while the, uh, oh, yeah. while the adults were down there drinking. Oh, Oh, no way. No way. Seriously. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought this was only found in the Thames. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. They smoked all over the joint, didn't they? Oh, that's a, that's yeah. an old lock. Do you know what, right? I didn't, there's a thing about these, right? What happens is, this, this is my old mate Webby, this is what he told me. He right. said, when you get these old locks, they were the, the right height for children to play with. Yeah. And what they do, if they got money or things oh, yeah. that they'd nicked off their parents, they'd often put them in the, in the keyhole oh, wow. inside these. So what you should do is give them a shake. If you hear anything loose, oh, this is full of mud. But if you give them a bit of a shake and you can hear something jingling and jangling, yeah. there might be a few old coins in there. Oh. So that's pretty cool. That is brilliant. It's a good little uh, treasure oh, hunting tip there. Oh, More pipe stands. Awesome. They're all yours. <laughs> you want a bowl now, Tim? Come on. I want a bowl, yeah. 
<laughs> late rubbish. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're gonna get all sort of all ages here. Do you know what? This is the most this is the earliest find ever, a dinosaur. Going prehistoric now. <laughs> Do you think? Has it always been like this in your bulls. experience? Ah, because they used to play a bit of bulls, yes. Ah, bull. So they used to play, so yeah, it has always been slightly, been slightly cut down though, in the last decade or so. Before, used to be a bit more couple of lawns, horses kept behind you. Right. But, uh, wow. Well, there's about an acre here to play with, I would have thought, so. Well, good man, excellent. Glad you came. That's, here. that's great though because they, they've got rid of the, the the sort of modern you know the last hundred years they would have got rid of What's that? well this is part of their rubbish chucking chucking the food waste out that's part of an old tooth isn't it from yeah lamb's tooth is or, it i don't know yeah i don't know what animal bovine oh it could be beef yeah. or bovine or um really like it. lots of flint as well isn't there yeah. There's loads of pipe stems. Oh, just, you know, it, it would have been one of these Bulldoze areas here. Actually, do you know what? This actually came down from further down, I'm pretty sure. Because yeah. it didn't used to be that steep. So this came from that area there. This is pr pretty much the same here. So I reckon they've, they've taken this all from those areas down there. That's probably, that's part of a flagging, I would have thought. Okay. Tim would probably be out of, uh, just trying to work out what's the top. Yeah, I would say that's part of a, the, the top edge of a flagon. That might be where the handle was. Flagons in a pub. Well, that's the first thing you think of, wouldn't it, when you think of pubs? Oh yeah, see that? Yeah. That's mad. That's from the 20s. Nice, no, that's, that's quite a cute little bottle, actually. First bottle. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Probably 1920s, Ooh. 1930s. But that's amazing. Isn't yeah. It? What condition? That's even better than the last one, which had a crack bottom. But this is, oh, it's quite interesting. Does it smell of anything? No, no, no. no it's it's still it's got like a seal, so it looks like it's maybe it's like vinaigrette or something like that, or a little yeah. sauce bottle. Sometimes you still can smell the contents. <laughs> if you're brave enough, you can even taste them and try them. <laughs> like the lemonade episode. Like the See lemonade. It, yeah. This is quite cool. I don't think it's particularly old. This old lamp would have hung outside, or out, you know, at the front or back. It's got a little uh, maker's mark on there, look. Let's see if I can turn you around and have a look. Yeah, the maker. D.W. Windsor. Nice. Stansted. Stansted Abbots. That's cool. Nice little plaque, that. So despite looking the part, this is in fact a replica of a Victorian lamp. The company DW Windsor have been making street lamps like this using the original designs since the 1970s, and they still currently supply some of our beloved bridges and embankments in London that us mudlarks must have walked past dozens of times. I do hope this gets saved in the refurb. The garage is fun. Nice to know. A bit about that maybe. Oh, that's, that's really amazing. cool. <laughs> That's an inkwell, ah, I think, really? I would have said. Yeah, ah. you've had your pen on there. Oh, that's beautiful. That is, that's awesome, that's a great little find. That's lovely, isn't it? It's found an inkwell. It's, really, it's, it's like Art Deco sort of style, yeah. I think, or Art, Art Nouveau, probably in the turn of the century. It's really cool. So Tim's just having a little look around. That'll be uh, Tim C. And uh, you reckon he's just found a little button. Oh yeah. Just lying there. That's great, yeah, pick her up. It's a nice early one. Look at that. Oh man, that's a nice, that's a livery button. Yeah. That's what I was saying to uh, Timo last last time oh. we were here. So let me, for, for, for Tim's, uh, Timo's, uh, uh, let me describe these. So this oh, is, this is a, nice. that little rope there tells us that it's a livery button. So. Oh. There was been someone around here who owned a farm or a manor house nice. or something and they they decked out all their staff wearing these buttons so they all knew that they came from that particular area oh. so i wonder what that is is that a dragon or is that it looks like a, it looks like a cherub rearing lion 
Oh, we'll get some clean up. Uh, yeah, I can see it's a, it's a rampant lion. Rampant Fantastic. Lion. Oh, yeah. How did we miss that first time around? <laughs> Ooh, I bet it's just not. Come in. <laughs> yeah, look. Nice, nice early. And that's Victorian, that one, yeah? That's a little ginger beer, or yeah. possibly a... Uh, Pontil mark, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, that's, um, wow. again, that's, that's 1810, yeah, 1815. Very early on. Mm. Early for us, isn't it? We found late Victorian, haven't we, so far? So that's, is that Georgian? <laughs> Georgian, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. There you go, it's Georgian. Right, let's whip out the detectors and do, this, do some serious treasure hunting now. Not yet, Tim. We haven't said. We didn't say three, two, one. Well, Tim might have found the first bit of a coin. Sorry. I can see it. Go for it, man. Ringing in at 18 on the Equinox. And Good. it's a coin, but it's a broken coin. Go through the lawnmower. There you go, Si. Si. Maybe you could. Uh... It's like a hate need, isn't it? Oldish one. Oh yeah, early one. Oh well, half a coin. Half a coin. It's a start. Get you half a pint. <laughs> First coin. Woo -hoo. There we go. Oh, oh, that's a Georgian. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe we need a, we need a little bucket of water to oh. wipe these off. Yeah, oh, well, we can, okay. We can arrange that. We've got a tap over there. Okay, there's a bucket. I'll do that. That'd be cool. That's one, Tim. Well done. So, here we have the first coin. It is probably an 1806 halfpenny. Well done, Bit worn, but it is there. Feel, it feels nice and chunky. Yeah, this is uh, pretty sure it could be a penny. I forget which ones they are, but we should get a date off that. But we want to wash them in some water, ideally. Save us scratching them too much. So, Tim's going to fill up a, a bottle of water. So we can give it a quick swill. Yes, nice bit of history. So that means I didn't blank and I'm not buying the beers <laughs> as it stands. <laughs> oh, lovely. There we go. Oops, and I'm in the light now. There goes Britannia. Oh, good Nick. Yeah, it's oh all Britannia. Can do that side as well? Yeah, can do little George. Beautiful. Maybe George or William. Oh, that side's pretty roasted. Nice. I yeah. might clean it up when I get home. Give it, a, give it, put it through yeah, a little yeah, zap yeah. of electrolysis there. But yeah, that's probably fab, um, fab, 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 fab. Two hundred year old coin. Oh, beautiful. Well done. Thank you. All. That's nice. Early though, didn't it? Yeah, that, that's. Well, oh, actually, I thought it's. It's a stud. It's. A, it's like it's bridal work. Is it? It's a bridal stud. Yeah, it probably would have come off. Uh, I think it would. It's too heavy to be worn by a person. It probably would have gone through a piece of leather. Yeah. On a horse. That's nice, though. Eh? Yeah, yeah. That's got some age to it. Rang well. in at sixteen. Well, that's not too far from this like stables area. So maybe there was horse or cattle that had bridal wear. So you might find more bridal stuff around yeah. this spot. But anyway. You've got another coin. I found a little coin. Let's really? come and have a look. Do you know what I did, right? I just kicked over the surface of the leaves and it was just sitting there. Didn't actually have to dig it very much. Really? Don't know yet, about to find out. <laughs> oh, it's like a worn George. No, it's nothing on it, unfortunately. I'll give it a quick wash and see, uh, and come back to you when it's clean. There you go, look, that's uh Oh wow. So you can see on that yes, side. Yes, 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 yes. It's like it's like Gillimus or something yeah, like that. And so uh, that's gonna be so. So that's and under you can just make out a one and a seven, I think, at the bottom. So that's uh William the third. Yeah. So one you had the other day. No, I can see it's six and a nine. Oh it could be sixteen. I think it's sixteen, 16 I think it's sixteen ninety. Excellent. Eight or something. No. Yeah, well three hundred year old coin. It's it's um no it's sixteen ninety seven. <laughs> Yeah, 697 to 7802. Wow. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Really. Just makes you wonder if they were stood under this. Well, there would have been a little sapling at the time, wouldn't it, that tree? But 
having a set up here, having their auction. Yeah, without a doubt. What do I get for this coin? Anybody? Can I start the bidding at five pounds, please? So yes, you're sold. One quarter. Well, Tim C's on the board. He's on the board. Oh well, this is my spot, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> I, th I did what they call parasiticus, parasiticus, or parasite. I came and found. Should we get you a bit of water? Yeah, we need the. There's a bucket over there. Look. I've got, got some water. Actually, you want to hold that? Thank you. Is that a beauty coin, yeah? Yeah, it looks all right, actually. Beautiful. We're going to clean it the uh, proper way. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> Squirter, that's ideal. I suddenly remembered. Before anyone comments, we do have these squirty things. Yes, we are very professional. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah, George the George the second. George the second. Nice. Woohoo. What's the other side like, Tim? Muddy. <laughs> I love how you got these gloves on. <laughs> like you ever had to perform a surgical procedure. I am. And the colour of your gloves suggests it's gone very well. <laughs> the obverse is... Yeah, I can see Britannia there. Video going on here. How's it going? Yeah, you can see it. Another Georgian coin. Yeah. It's quite nice. nice. Georgia second, ain't me? Yeah, it's all there. So here we have Tim's lovely Georgian coin all cleaned up. Well, as clean as uh, we can get it in the field. Beautiful, Georgia second there. And it is a real one. Georgius, as opposed to an evasion token, because sometimes they made forgeries and they changed the legend on me slightly so they wouldn't get caught. Bit of it broke off, bitch. And we're also finding little oyster shells, which is quite interesting because the Victorians loved to eat them. They were food of the poor, but they got through quite a lot of them. So things like this, if you ever find this on a site, it's a good indication that either the Victorians were eating a lot of them. And certainly the Romans, but this site doesn't go back that far. But it's good to know that people are here, out here eating, buying seafood like this. You know, poor people as well as rich come to this pub and uh, enjoy a little snack of oyster. A ribbed chemist. Oh. Uh, poison probably from the 20s. Lovely. Okay. okay. And see if it's oh. Oh. Yeah, it's all there. Has it got Lovely. ribs on it? Was I right? Yeah, it's got ribs. Oh, that is a, that's the one I thought it was a stem. <laughs> <laughs> so nice, isn't it? Oh that's my good. God, that's beautiful. Chemists. Just how it shines in that, look at that. I thought it was a bit earlier, wouldn't you, from that colour? Possibly, 20s I'd say, 20s, maybe fractional. Couldn't find more of these as well. Oh uh, yeah. I've got a big one as well, but yeah, it's good. <laughs> Let's have a look at the old uh, bottle. Look at that, that's 1915. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Ah, oh, lovely. That's a really white, nice one, that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, these oysters could have been just for... You've got lovely bubbles, bubbles in there. Over the years. They would, they would Beautiful. Be oysters of each <laughs> What was it? Oh, I'm happy with it. Two feet. Oh, it's got a coin. There we go. So I just uh, put a spade in here, look, and sometimes, sometimes you just put out a little piece of Victorian china. Transfer wear. Blue and white willow. What, Christian? An ornament or something, but still, it's just the beauty of it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Isn't that lovely? Hello, from the Queen's Head. <laughs> nice little pull handle. It might be the top of a tobacco uh, tin, tobacco box. That's beautiful. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Lovely. That's nice, that is. That's the find for me already. That's Brilliant. Done it. Well done, mate. <laughs> what have you found there, Timbo? It's a drinks tray because we're behind an old pub. But it's a uh, an old one. It's an old made one. of uh, either copper or brass. Probably brass. Nice. Imagine the drinks that were served on that, eh? Back yeah. in the day. Oh, that's nice. You see, it's early, can't you? Definitely. Very Victorian? Yeah, I think so. I guess. Well, we'll go and fill it up, get some drinks for us, mate. Yeah. Go on. We'll ask the owner. Off to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just detecting around this uh, fire area and uh, just spotted this detected it and then uh, they came up. It would be quite a cool little pendant, wouldn't it? A little scutcheon plate. Sweet. So we are digging lots and lots of these bottle caps. They are everywhere, that and foil. So it's hard going here actually, but you'd expect that from the amount of people that have been out here drinking and having a good time. 
but we're finding so many of these unfortunately still on the nutwood i've just found this it could be a bracelet it's very soft i can bend it really easily in my fingers but it feels very light I'm not sure what it is could it be a bracelet maybe the ladies that watch would know if it is or not um or some of the men perhaps anyway don't know could be just part of a lid or it could be a bracelet so Timo was kind enough to invite us on this dig today. If you've got anywhere in mind that you might be able to let us on, if you've got any bottle sites, any old sites like this with any historical interest, be it a field that you'd like the look of, but you've got permission, give us a shout in the email below and we'll gladly come along. But as long as it's in England, or maybe Wales, it might stretch to Scotland. But if it's local to the southeast, that'd be even better. If you fancy treasure hunting with me and Tim and maybe someone else, get in touch now. Hey boys, I found a brooch. Come up here and check it out. Oh wow, that's a beauty. Oh, that's it's got the it's eh? got the pin on the back as well. Oh, that's a nice little thing, isn't it? Wow, I think that's Saxon. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tease. <laughs> that's nice though. That's beautiful. That's cool though, isn't it? It's beautiful. It wasn't until Tim broke it and dropped it. I was about to spit on it, but I'm, I know you're a bit fussy. We've got some water. We can dab on it. Although it's pretty oh, clean as it he goes. It's very clean. I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything with that. A little rub. Little rubber dub dub, it's a nice little thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. It looks quite old, doesn't it? It's got a bit of age to it. Yeah, it's hard to really say. Mm. I'm gonna say pre Victorian, I'm gonna go on a limb. Nah. It's brass, it's brass, isn't it? No way, going out on a limb. Go on, Tim, what are you gonna <laughs> post <say>? Victorian? <laughs> Timmo's going post Victorian, Simon, post or pre? Oh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say early, I'm gonna say 1900s. Well, there you go, that's nice, though. Mm. Oh, that's a good find. Yeah. Cool. Some nice pieces of muckleware here, as I understand. So I just found this guy's look. Poor little lead weight. It's nice. For measuring something. Not sure what. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Heavy. Well, just dug this up. It's a little token, I think. I think Tim might have found one previously to this, but now I've got my own PRW. Little amusement token. Probably from the 60s or 70s. PPW. See if there's anything on the other side. Yeah, look, a little two, maybe two p value. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, Tim's found a little surface find. Let's go and take a look. It's ringing in at twenty. Oh yeah, how do we miss that? Normally penny like, but on this site could be absolutely anything. Look at that in situ. And it's still there. I haven't, I haven't had it out yet. Oh yes. Now yeah. we'll see what it is. You can tell what it is yet. <laughs> Yes, yeah, coin. So very, very worn, yes. very worn. Penny, but you can just make out that it's an early head Victoria penny. Nice. Beautiful. Or young head, I should say. Yeah, young head. Sweet. There nice you go. One, man. Beautiful. Really, really good. Nice one. Was actually, it was out of ground that one. Nice. Come out with the bulldozers. <laughs> sure really? did. The trouble with uh, we get a right mixture of modern cans, bottle tops, and now you find a Vicky Penny on the surface. Yeah, it's, crazy. it's a real mixed bag, a big be. jumbled mess of finds. <laughs> so I just pulled out this little beauty. I must have that. A little truck. He's only got one wheel left, uh, okay, go on then. but it's quite cool though because it's got on it since 1859 Bryn, Bryn something or maybe that's part of the words I think that's whatever Brynny is maybe it's Brynny or I don't know we'll find out and let you know but that's pretty cool so here's our table of wonders yeah, yeah good days good days oh, had by all yeah. what a great day loads of long lost history from the pub old coins Brooches. Did we find any buttons? Yep, one. Oh, we've got, oh, we've got enough of buttons. We've got a couple of buttons. We've got yeah, all sorts. Come and have a look. Like the truck, dear Tim. 
<laughs> mine now. It's yours. I'm gifting that to you, old boy. Since, oh uh, yeah, no, it wasn't actually made in anything, but yeah, that's beautiful. No, it wouldn't, yeah, it's just a yeah, nice really, little tin really truck. Great, really yeah, good fun. Could do with a few more wheels on it. It's got one wheel there. So I found out this is a Dinky and Meccano model 275, and it's a Brinks American security truck, and it's a rare import. Brinks make armoured cars that are used to carry cash and other expensive items. A model like mine, which is mint, is for sale with the box for £275 on eBay. But obviously my one is a long way off that. So here we go, this is the tray of wonders, Tim's tray that we've used for this purpose. Little reflector there, really cool. Loads of pipe, pipe slit stems, there's too many to pick up around here, so obviously out in the garden having a good time at smoking. Uh, coins, modern, 20p, modern penny, that's a little arcade token, similar to the one Tim found, but PRW and a 2, probably means 2p. Um, nice Georgian coin there. So my best coin was this William the Third Hapney. You can just that make out, just make out a little bit of his uh, bust there. So yeah, happy with that. And I think my best artifact is this uh, this lead weight. I think that's really mm. cool. Or possibly my little brooch. Nice work. So Tim, how did you get on today? I got a George Second. Is it a penny? Probably uh, halfpenny. 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 Yeah. yeah. Victoria Bunhead Penny, a uh, little uh, gaming token, not quite modern we think. Livery badge. Nice livery button. Sorry, button, yeah. Possibly a measuring cup, although we're not sure because it's got holes in the sides. A spirit, a spirit measuring cup, but we don't know that for sure. If you know, comment below. We'll try and find out. But, um, a nice yeah. brass doorknob. Very nice. And a giant brass drinks tray. And a fairly heavy lead Dress yeah. weight or curtain weight. Oh, I reckon it might be a trade weight. Or trade weight. Similar to like this, but a lot smaller. Yeah. So uh, maybe it was an ounce or two. Or coin weight. Uh, coin weight maybe. Well, I think it's more tradey. More tradey. So you'd have like yeah. I think coin weights tend to be square and more official the looking than that. So yeah. Really, really cool. Pleased with that. Nice. And look, these are the other bits and bobs we picked up and <laughs> scrounged and nice old collected. Beer flagons, eh? Not yeah. bad. That'd have held pints and pints. It would have done. <laughs> So what's your top find today then, Tim? I've got to admit, I'm, I'm impressed by the sheer amount of church warden stems and a, you know, a bit of a, you know, bit uh, of a heel. it's not bad that. And um, obviously the coins are always a massive positive. But yeah, I mean, some of the new things that I found, for instance, I, I didn't realise so many, you know, pipes would be out there made of lead, because that was <laughs> the old way of doing it, and oysters, which is wonderful to see. And these wonderful old bottles, real, yeah. real style, real... Good vibes back Not here. Nice iridescence, isn't it? And you found this little yeah. uh, thingy bob. Absolutely right. Yeah. Top Beautiful. of a top of a tobacco tin or some sort of box, I think. Fantastic. <laughs> what a great, great selection Absolutely. of goodies from the uh, from the garden Nothing of mystery. Too big we can't do. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a little funny story actually. Um, when I come to do my editing, I have to go through lots of bags of finds, find the right stuff, clean it, do the research, and then film it and do other stuff. Anyway. The coin, the William III Apney, I just couldn't find it anywhere. I went through all my bags, went through boxes, went through other boxes, mm, couldn't find it. Anyway, I had to get my car MOT'd, which means it's had a sort of a little service to make sure that it's roadworthy here in the UK. And I was hoovering it out because I wanted the mechanic not to have to sift through loads of mud, which does get accumulated in the car. Um, so I'm hoovering away and I can hear something metal going up the tube. And I was like, oh, it's a pound coin or something that I've dropped. Anyway, I looked in the nozzle, lo and behold, it was the William the Third Hapen. He got stuck in the nozzle. Can you believe it? It's funny these little life coincidences. If I hadn't have had the MOT, then I wouldn't have been hoovering out my car and found the coin. So luckily for the landowner, luckily for me, and luckily for you, I found it. Stuck in the nozzle of my hoover. <laughs> so here are my top four finds of the day. I've just cleaned them up and I've just been double checking my coins with the reference here of the Spink catalog and uh, I'm about to go through them now so this is nicely cleaned up this is probably a little copper alloy brooch now I'm not sure on the age on this exactly but it's probably Victorian there or thereabouts I would have thought it's pressed uh, pressed metal which means it wasn't handmade as in terms it wasn't forged it was it was done in a press so that's that's a bit later for that but it's still a beautiful little piece Really happy you found in that. Great condition as well, considering it's been in the ground all these years. Um, so that cleaned up really well. First of the coins, this one here, 
is a William III halfpenny, and you can see now very clearly uh, the Latin of his name, Gullimus, or whatever it says. Um, and there you got um, IER, it looks like, on that side there. And if you flip it over, it's Britannia, and you can just make out the words NIA. And the date at the bottom there, I believe, is 1698, I think. Oh, it's pretty good condition. That came up pretty, clean up pretty well. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's see what it looks like in the book. So William the Third would have looked like that originally, and you can see the date at the bottom there. And uh, that's the bus side. And we flip it over, and there's Britannia. This is a great little reference book as well because if you've got a coin you can put it over it and it shows you the exact size because it's done at 100% scale so it's really quite handy. Next is the uh, George III halfpenny. One side looks really good, it's got a nice Britannia there on it um, but unfortunately the other side isn't as good. So let's go to the George coins. So we can tell with this one here. Obviously this one is, is mint condition. Um, our side, again, the reverse, the Britannia is good. The bus side isn't very good, but there you go. You can see that that is the same coin. Put it over the top there, it's the exact fit. Uh, the date on this one is mainly 1806 and a couple of from 1807. It's mad that there's like a hundred years pretty much between those two coins. And uh, lastly, this one, which isn't in the book, it's an amusement arcade token, it's brass, it came up really well. So the P, R and W stands for Phonographic Ruffler and Walker. Ruffler and Walker were the uh, company owners and this would have been used for all sorts of penny arcades such as jukeboxes or games or pinball, things like that. So you can imagine in the pub there would have been something in the corner, a bit like the old fruit machines or the current fruit machines that happens but instead of winning money you probably got a token that you could exchange with and get some prizes maybe out of a little prize prize pool and this would have given you two of whatever that was that's really cool a nice little bygone and this one as i said is from the 70s so you've got a nice collection there of 300 years worth of history going back to william the third then you've got georgia and you've got be victorian with the brooch and you've got this from the um, 20th century it's fantastic <laughs> so we're really grateful for the landowner for letting us on anyway so um well, I, as, a, as a way of thank you, I'm going to put all these in a little box frame. Coming up now. Oh, hello. Yeah, I've got a cat as well. God. You love me today, don't you? So this is what I'm going to present to the very generous guy that let us metal detect Maiden's head. This is an old photograph, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that out, put that in this, put it in this uh, shadow box that I've had to flip around, and I'm going to just cover these uh, these areas there with pieces of the old articles about the auctions there, and this is the order of the foresters. Um, they had meetings at the at the pub, all very good stuff, and I'm going to, I've got a few articles that I'm going to stick on the reverse. I'm going to attach these with pins so that they can be taken out. You've got the nice Georgian halfpenny there, the little arcade token, and the uh, William III coin. I'll probably present it on that side. You've got the nice uh, bust there. And that way, if I pin it in, we're using the old Thames pins, and then that way they, it can be taken out. And uh, if need be, they can be handled. Now this will be turned into a residential home. I said developer earlier, it's not really a developer. A guy bought it and um, it was in a really bad state so he helped resurrect it and he's doing it up. Otherwise it would have just, it was already closed for like 10 years when he purchased it, I've just recently learned. So he done a good thing by um, taking it and converting it. Unfortunately it wasn't 
uh, sustainable as a pub any longer. So uh, yeah, sadly, pubs are in decline in, in this country. So he's actually um, converting it to, to live in. So that's really cool. And he wants this to put in his house as a little uh, memento to the times gone by. <laughs> Tim's gone and uh, sent his like uh, his uh, hip hop buddy along. He's dead on the call, dude. <laughs> anyway, we had a great day. Thanks for inviting us along, Tim. Thank you very much, um, Tim. Always. Appreciate it. And uh, if anybody Thanks else is, yeah, well, yeah, you get Enjoy away. later. Yeah, you found the least amount of coins, didn't you? So off to the pub, and Tim's going to get around. All on me. <laughs> I wish I had a court, my court jug with me, but you know we'll have to get to the old fashioned. <laughs> That's all right. There we go, my lovers. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you in the next mud venture. Yeah.